statisticians from Oxford University appear to have found an explanation for why that is happening. They say that when recording data, Public Health England looks at whether a person has ever tested positive for coronavirus and then whether they're still alive at a later date. So that means that anyone who's ever tested positive for coronavirus is included in the death figures, even if they've, di even if they've died from something else. So one pretty startling example is a person could test positive, be successfully treated and discharged, say in April time, and then in June could be run over by a bus and die. That person would still count as a COVID death in England. I mean,